We know that if we build a house on the sand, it's not going to last. You can put all this work into making this beautiful house. And at the first storm, it's going to start falling apart. All that work for nothing. I think of sand castles that people make. They're so beautiful, so very beautiful. And they spend hours and hours and hours to make them. And then one huge wave, one storm, one rain just ruins it, washes it all away. All that time spent and why? And Jesus is saying that about our lives. All the time we spend doing needless things compared to getting ready to move in with him. Compared to applying the Word of God, knowing the Word of God, and doing the Word of God to get ready to live in eternity with Him. This life we live here now is short. It's temporary. Just like that house that you might build on the sand with no foundation. It's not going to last. In the Passion Translation, it says, Everyone who hears my teaching and applies it to his life can be compared to a wise man who built his house. On, unsha- on an unshakable foundation. When the rains fell and the flood came, with fierce winds beating upon his house, it stood firm because it was on a strong foundation. But everyone who hears my teaching and does not apply them to his life can be compared to as a foolish man who built his house on the sand. When it rained and, when it rained and rained and the flood came, with the wind and the waves beating upon the house, it collapsed, and it was swept away. That was that. That was the end of it. When I think of my life and how much time I wasted, when I didn't know this truth, when I didn't know that I had a purpose, and the things, when I, when I look back, the things that I did in ignorance were such a waste of time. Worrying about what I was going to eat, what I was going to drink, and what I was going to wear. Running around in circles trying to figure things out. I, I, I like to recreate my house. I worked at the craft store. Um, I like to design patterns and um, make unique clothes. And I just wanted to do all this stuff. And meanwhile, many are perishing, but I didn't know it. I didn't know what was happening until Jesus told me. And so then it's a waste of time. It's not even fun anymore because you know that Jesus needs you to be a part of many's salvation. He needs you to be a part of others forever life. And, And when I watch people now doing what I was doing, I can see they don't know. They don't know what's about to happen. Jesus said he would tell us things to come, and he said he's coming, and it's going to be like in the day of Noah. They didn't get it, and we don't get it. We're building our house on the sand, and when Jesus comes and the storm hits, that's it. All the things that you did for nothing that didn't make any sense, that were a waste of time. And we don't see it that way until we see the truth. Until we see what's really happening. What's happening in the Spirit. Knowing that Jesus is waiting for us. Because it's not as well that one should perish. He's getting ready to come. And because many don't do know that, they're doing things that just don't make any sense according to the wisdom that some of us have. It doesn't make any sense. It's a waste of time. He's coming, and many don't know him. He's coming, and we're we're doing things that have nothing to do with his coming. And, And we live as if he's not coming. If you don't know him, you don't have a close relationship with him, you're not going to have that urgency in your heart to know that there's a lot of sand houses out there and many are on the verge of perishing. 
And that's not what God wants. And so this message today is for us to wake up and and be aware of what's going to happen and the little bit of time that we have left. When he comes, it'll be too late. Just like in the day of Noah, when the floods hit, it was too late. Those who didn't know, which was everyone except Noah and his family, they weren't close to God. They didn't know. No one knew. God told Noah what he was going to do. God's telling us what he's going to do, and the time is short, and we don't have much time. And so doing all kinds of other things that we think that are good things to do, and you know they can be in the proper time, but the things that we need to be doing, we're not doing. We're not building our house on the Word of God. We're not applying the Word of God. We so often read Matthew 7, 21 through 23, Not everyone who calls me Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my Father, which is applying his word to your life, building your house on a firm foundation, his word. And then many are going to say, but I did this, I did that. And, you know, they, they think, they thought they were okay. But he's going to say, I didn't know you. And then he w- goes right into building your house on the sand. What you're doing, what you think you're doing that, that counts, doesn't. We're wasting time. Jesus is coming and he said, we are wasting the precious time that we have building sand castles that are going to be washed up by the waves. I'm not saying those beautiful sand castles, especially the ones of Jesus, are ministering to people. And, and everybody has a part. And we don't know what that is. So not everything is a waste of time. But what I'm saying is if you're not building your life on his principles, what he's saying is you're wasting your time. Because it's not going to matter when he comes. He's going to say, oh, I didn't know you. I wasn't acquainted with you. You weren't doing the will of the Father. You built your house on the sand. And I told you it wouldn't last, but you didn't listen. We don't have much time to get ready. We don't have much time to do as well. We got to stop wasting time doing things that don't matter. I catch myself, or I get nudged, I should say. I get corrected when I'm doing things that are a waste of time. Why are you doing that? It's a waste of time. You could be doing this. You could be ministering to that person. That's what God is saying. There's not much time, and we're wasting our time. We're building sand castles. And the rain's going to come, the storm's going to hit, and everything we did for nothing, gone, just like that. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for this word that you have for us today. Thank you for making it simple, for telling us the truth. Thank you for your truth, for telling us things to come. We appreciate you. We love you. Give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Revelation 3.20 says that if you would heed his voice, he would come and live on the inside of you. He would dine with you. So he would show you. He would show you what time you're wasting, what you need to do to take advantage of the time that you have. Who needs your help? What better thing to do than have to do with someone's salvation. What's more important than that? Just think of all the things in your life that you're doing that really don't matter. If Jesus came tomorrow, would what you did all day today matter? Would it? Are you worrying about your life? Are you anxious? 
what are you doing? Think about what you're doing and ask yourself, was this a waste of time? Really? If Jesus would come tomorrow, how many of you do know that would perish? Talk to him. Let him tell you things to come. Let him change your thinking, your perspective. Let him show you what's important and what's not. Thanks so much for listening. God bless you.